It's fall and I'm back at the off-grid homestead and they have done an amazing job on their garden. You can see all the blackberry bushes right here, the strawberry bushes over here. They've got raspberries. As you can see, they've put in a lot of beds. They've actually put in 46 mint lighter grow boxes. What will be astounding is the yield, especially since this is their first year at mint lighter gardening. Out of just three rows of tomatoes, they got 25 bushels of tomatoes. That's not baskets, that's bushels of tomatoes. Pole beans, they had one roll of pole beans and they got a full bushel of pole beans. Out of one eighth of a row, and these are 30 foot rows and they're 18 inches wide, they got a half a bushel of peas. Out of two rows of squash, they got 51 squash, absolutely incredible. They say in addition to the unbelievable yields that they've experienced, and they've had gardens in here before with nothing like the yields they're getting from the Midlata gardening method, the flavor is what's really surprising. They planted three pumpkin plants and got huge, and I mean huge, pumpkins. They got 11 pumpkins from those pumpkin plants. In addition to that, they got out of a third of a row, a half a bushel of bush beans and out of one eighth of a row, they grew something that has never been grown up here before, and that is watermelon. People kept telling them, you cannot grow watermelon. Well, they did, and they did it very successfully. In addition to that, they had a great haul of peppers and jalapenos, and just everything they planted worked very well for them. You can see they have the in the garden greenhouse here over a few of the different beds, and that tremendously helped extend his season. Now what's incredible is all that yield came from 12 beds. They started a month and a half late in a two month growing season. That alone was absolutely amazing. They could not believe in such a short period of time how much they were able to harvest. And they did a great job. They only had the Midlighter Gardening Library CD and the Midlighter gardening course book. There will be links below this video uh, for both of those items. And they built this all by themselves. It's absolutely amazing. They have a lot of snow here as I mentioned earlier and they've got a great structure on here on this in the garden greenhouse. You can see they use two by sixes here for vertical supports and for a roof girder also. They could not be more excited than they are with the results that they've received. And in addition to that, it's absolutely beautiful. Because of the great harvest that they've gotten, people have stopped by constantly during the very short season they had and were just amazed at what they were able to produce. They chose the Midlatter Gardening Method, as I mentioned earlier, because they have to have a gardening method that they know that they can produce high volumes of food in short growing seasons and have it highly nutritious. They are completely now committed to the Midlata Gardening Method because of the results that they've gotten. That is the reason why I use the Midlata Gardening Method. I need a gardening method that I know I can feed my family. I can count on it. I don't have to be a gardening expert. I don't have to wait 10 or 30 years or even 5 years to make the soil perfect. I can use the step-by-step -step information in the Midlata Gardening course. If you are committed to providing food, fresh fruit and vegetables for your family, please please take a look at this mint ladder gardening method and take a look at the links below this video. This is LDS Prepper reminding you, if ye are prepared, ye shall not fear. And I promise you, if you use the mint ladder gardening method, you will be able to feed your family.